Historians see July 65 as the point of no return for the United States. It's when Lyndon Johnson chooses to massively escalate, right? Up until July 65, the United States has been escalating since Harry Truman was president in, in different kinds of ways. This is where hundreds of thousands of boots go on the ground. And I make the argument that essentially it was a bureaucratically driven position, that there were um, the, the extreme options. So you might know the name George Ball. He was like the big dissenter within the Johnson administration against the war. In July of 65, he says, we have to pull out. Like if we don't pull out, um, the phrase he uses is once you're on the tiger's back, you don't get to choose when to dismount. Ball is arguing we need to get out. Like we can't win the war. It's a losing proposition. McNamara, the Secretary of Defense, is saying we should massively escalate. And it's actually um, a guy named Bundy who kind of presents Johnson with this middle ground that says instead of the massive escalation proposed by the, the, the hawks or the, the withdrawal proposed by the doves, that we can kind of continue. He kind of pitches it as a continuation of the Kennedy, Eisenhower, Truman policy. And so I think it, it's 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 essentially bureaucratic politics that drives that decision and provides Johnson with kind of an easy answer.